Hi, Owen. Hi, um, this, is, this is a pretty good opportunity, isn't it, on Sunday to you know, take a second trophy of the autumn and get one over France to obviously beat you in the, in the Six Nations? No, it's, it's a massive opportunity. It's a, it's a massive opportunity for us to uh, prepare for prepare for a big a big game. It's a massive opportunity for us to take another step forward. Uh, and it's one that one that we're looking forward to. Obviously, France uh, uh, have got a, an unbelievably strong squad. Looking at looking at the team, and uh, it's going to be a tough test. Eddie kind of alluded to the fact you maybe have tried to peak this week. You know, treating it as a final as opposed to maybe a Six Nations campaign where you try and be consistent throughout the whole thing. Is is that something you know have you, you found that in training this week that you are treating it slightly differently to a to a usual test match? Well, it is a final. Um, and we want to make sure that when it comes to these these big games, we're at our best and we're we're doing everything we can. Obviously, the the coaches prep the week the way that the way that they see fit, and we as players do everything we can to make sure that we put ourselves in the best position come game time. Cheers, and then just a final one for me, if that's okay. Um, obviously, we're we'll playing in front of fans at Twickenham yep. for the first time in, in a little while. Can you just talk to us a little bit about kind of what that means to you and also the, the players to be playing in front of fans again? Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm chuffed that it's 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 took this step forward. Um, hopefully, it it all goes it all goes really well, and more fans will be allowed to come back. And it's all safe, it's all shown that it's safe, so that we can get more fans back quicker um, because they're a big part of it. I know some some lads here have played the first test matches without the families watching, uh, so it'd be good for them to get family down if 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 that's possible. Um, and you know we want we want the atmospheres back. We want the the crowds back at Twickenham, and uh, obviously only when it's safe. But it's it's a good step forward this weekend. Cheers, all the best. Thanks. Judy, we'll come to you next. Thanks. Uh, hello, Owen. Hi. Um, obviously, this is a much changed France side yeah. from the usual team. I just wonder, what are the qualities do you think they'll still have as a French side in particular that you need to be on the lookout for? No, I think I think the the building as a squad a a, a very uh, strong identity. So I'd expect them to play much in a similar way. Obviously, with uh, some some youth coming into the thing, coming into the squad, that's gonna um, gonna bring some enthusiasm and, and really and really go after it. So we're gonna have to be on our toes in terms of how France are gonna play, but but be ready for anything in terms of. Some players who were playing the first the first kind of test matches, um, but I'd imagine it'd be as as every England France game an intense an intense match. Sure. When you say a similar way, what are the sort of qualities you observe about the way France are playing now that really strike you? Well, they've been playing. They've been they've been playing off the back of uh, people's mistakes a lot. Um, obviously, they want to break the game up and they're kicking the ball. Uh, quite a bit at the minute, and waiting, waiting for teams to make a mistake, and and that's when the team comes to life. Um, n- not just that, like any individual moments, any offloads, anything that sparks the game into life, they're 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 ready to pounce on. So we've got to make sure that we're concentrating and engaged for eighty minutes. Thank you. So. I'm James Wall. We'll finish with you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, just picking up from what uh, Julian said. Um, France has got an immense amount of depth in the back row, just as England have. Yeah. Uh, second Mackley and Cameron Wilkin, uh, Wilkin were absolutely outstanding last week. Yeah. What sort of challenge do you think they'll give you in forward playing? You know, you both want to play tight on the game line. You've got two big units playing for their places coming at you. What have you learned about these guys when you've played against Saracens, and how do you think they'll go? No, I, I, as as you said, I think they're impressive players. Um, I think with um, the French line speed that that they've brought over the past year or so now, I think I think they'll be they'll be they'll be coming after us. Um, I think they'll be uh, at us with with their defence, and hopefully they'll be trying. I think they'd be hoping to force some mistakes. We've got to make sure that we're as calm and composed as we can be, and and hopefully pick the right decisions at the right time. Um, they're going to be right in your faces. They'll come right at you. Will you be looking to exploit the triangles that they potentially will make in defence? Uh, well, 
we'll we'll look what's presented to us. Um, obviously, we want to we want to exploit um, them in any in any way that we can in terms of breaking them down. Um, so we'll see what comes. We'll we'll be looking to to play what's in front of us. We'll be looking to be in, in, engaged in the game, like I said, and and do the right thing. And and we'll see what that is on 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 Sunday. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We'll end the live section there, please.